Alright, so as you guys probably know, FOU finally dropped the sand showcase for update 4. So today I'm going to be doing like a little video similar to the one I did on 2 sword style. I'm going to be analyzing the moves, whether they guard break or not, what are they, like what they'll be used for, if they're good or not, like all, all that type of stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so from the clips I just showed, Desert Cutlass is like a lunge type move that guard breaks. It can be cancelled as it's shown in the later clip which I'm not going to include because I don't feel like it's needed. Uh, it has relatively low startup and I assume a pretty low cooldown. And it does like okay damage, like good tick damage I'd say. Alright, so this is a grab move that has a similar animation to Desert Cutlass. It has hyper armor and it deals pretty decent damage as we can see it's doing 23 per slash but it could be increased with fruit stat. The move does guard break but I assume it'll have a bit of a longer cooldown. I mean yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. It's a flight move similar to Mara's flight. You can use moves while flying and it actually doesn't have a startup animation unlike the Mara one. But it's a lot slower compared to Mara, so that's the downside. Alright, so this is a blockable move that hits the enemy for around like 15 or 20 times. You can move stack with Desert Storm, and I assume that this move will probably have a longer cooldown. The move doesn't do much damage, but it makes up for it because you can definitely move stack with that as we can see in later clips. And it also has pretty good range as we can see full use it from a distance in, a, in another clip. Alright, so this move does have quite a bit of startup, but it definitely makes up for it with the amount of range it has. It has hyper armor, so the move can't be cancelled. It deals like pretty low damage, and I assume it'll probably have a higher cooldown in game. This move is also a guard break. Alright, so this move is definitely the ultimate for Sand. It deals around 100 or so damage, so it's okay for like an ultimate, but could definitely be increased with, high, with a higher fruit stat. The move is a guard break, and it actually pulls the enemy into it, so if they do get hit, so if they do get hit in it, it's like it's impossible to get out. Of course, since this is the fruit's ultimate, it'll definitely have a long cooldown. Alright, so that's it for the Sand for the Sand fruit analysis. Overall, this fruit looks really fun to use, and I'm definitely going to try to get it. It does kind of low damage, but it definitely looks like a good support fruit in 2v2 is because of the move stacking, and like, Desert Storm is just a, a very good stun move overall. Let me know which fruit you guys are going to be using in Update 5. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, because we're on the road to 500 subscribers, and I hope it, and I hope you can get it by the end of the year. That's it for the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.